So let's unbox this here. Let's go out the way. Let me compare the model to the prototype. We found a photo of this car in September 22nd, 2013. Now this is a Walker's mainline part. It's not gonna match the prototype to the T, but it's come pretty close for a budget friendly model. All right, let's take a look at the car. Now we have our row name and our row number. We have our different sizes here, the 45, sorry, the 53, the 48, the 45, the 20, and the 40, as a written here. Have that red label here with information written in white as it is for a prototype you have that will well and information written on top of that and you get two stickers here as this for a prototype but on a prototype it has the car holder but on the model stuff it doesn't have it we have information in various locations here on the model you have your black strip indicating the middle of the car here and the ribbon of the car does match the uh, prototype and this line you see here is the brake pipe that matches the uh, prototype. Come across here, but this has um, stenciling here is not on the prototype, but the prototype has a, I believe it's FRA, no, a pet pending sticker here, I believe this is. And coming across here, more information here on the car. Got you a 20, 40, 53 footer, 45. 48 and 53 as it appears here written in white that's in black then you have you do have these stickers here and information here on the car which means it appears to be a little different but uh coming here now um the FRI reflecting tape is on this side of the black line white line tape white line of tape as this purported type was a little different here and um as far as the detail with the ladder, you do have your grab irons and your ladder here with the jack and pad detail as it is here for a prototype with written information on it. Taking a look at the car, we have the jack and pad detail here. It has a car. We have that black and you have the red with the information written inside of as the prototype. You have the 125 ton there. You have the two labels here on the car. You do have your FRF reflecting tape throughout the car as it is a prototype. More information here, there are 40 and the 20 with information here. With the ribbon is there with the FRF reflecting tape with that black mark doesn't name the middle of the car with the red TTX logo. With the plate H, more information here on the car, which is uh, here. Have your detail here that holds the uh, container lock that holds the container in place is here on the model as this prototype. Coming across, you have your FRF reflecting tape with the black line, a little yellow, and black with FRF tape. And FRF tape, mm, 48 and the 53 there with the two logos, but it's missing a little yellow one in the middle. But the information here on the car is a little different, but you do have your red and the 53 there. And the grab barns and stir up there does be uh, appears correctly on the car. Now here we have the B end of the car. Taking a look what we have here. Information on the side of the car. That's a little different as it is a uh, purported type. Still have your black and your um, red in the background. Information here on the car. It should be down a little bit more. That's there. Once again, that pending patent. It's not on the car. You have information here. And also, I probably flick the tape with that black strip. And this one says a G33A. And this one is saying 
G33C. Now, I don't know what the difference is about that, but moving along. Roll name, roll number, plate, okay, red, and this side doesn't have black. 23, the builder's plate or the date. Uh, stencil in here. More stencil in here on the car, but the car doesn't have that uh, information here. It has a, a longer FRA reflecting tape on the model, but on the prototype is shorter or pushed more to the left. And with information here and the jack and pad detail lift here is not on the model and you have the detail here that holding on to that uh, air reservoir which is here with the stir up and the grab irons and you have the handbrake here on the end of the car got this car pulled up on april 13 2023 all righty uh, come zoom in here and see what we got uh, information here is it's not a car, but we do have the correct stirrup and the handrails there. Come across, you can see a little bit of uh, air brake detail here, as far as your uh, triple valve there, air reservoir, and in your exhaust outlet here. And coming across, so we have our for reflecting tape information on the car. Uh, this little label here that we don't have on the car on our model. Information here, of course, you don't have that car holder, the 2040, road name, road number, which is here, road name, road number, uh, plate H, some information on the bottom of it, more information here on the car, which is right there, FR reflecting tape, information, both sides, FR tape with the black line, which is here, um, let's see, don't see this information here on the car, but it could be. I don't know, I just don't see it. But anyway, coming down here, more information on the car with a 20 and a 40 with 53 with that black uh, panel here. Uh, you got it written in white as this for a prototype with information here on the car. Now that's for a reflecting tape on the model. It's a little bit uh, long, should be more to the right on the other side of black line, just to match the prototype. Then also we have the grab lines here and the stirrup on the model and you do have your pull tab detail here not a lot of photos with this car here so i just grabbed a, another one here that to see a little bit better so let's comparing this side to this side here you have a different road number uh coming across here we do have a 125 here which is as big as it is on the prototype and the 53 and a 48 there with the stints in there right on the bottom uh, coming to the top here, we do have the white line for reflecting tape and white line and the black part of the label in here, which is so good. They have 45 there. Come across information here on the car. This one should be down a little bit more. Here, the patent sticker is not there. Of course, you got your black line with information here on this section of the car, or name, or number. Of course, the plate H there. Then we got the FR reflecting tape, line split, line split. Space over another line and the FR reflecting tape right there. But that one doesn't have, well, the prototype has more writing here near the jack and pad. And the jack and pad uh, here doesn't have the lift here labeling here. But you do have other information here on the car. Let's take a look at some of the detail and get with this car. Both of the cars are same. One of the thing difference is some of the stenciling on the car. So take a look at some of the detail you get. Here you get air reservoir with a brake pipe plumbing. Brake detail here. And on the other side, you do get your retaining valve here. Platform here. What I usually do, I get a silver marker and i just call it a silver or a, a gray and i'll do handbrake detail here for the chain and the handbrake mechanisms here that's pretty cool now flip at the other end here we have our bogey you have to pin that the other car sits on top of and you have a Walkway detail here, of course, with your ladder and your grab bar and the uh, pockets here. You can drop the cone in 
Um, also, uh, we do have this detailed part here that holds the container in a place. Now, going to the C car on this end, we have uh, details, walkway, the ladder, then a neat little detail here with the uh, braking system here. Um, go in a little small black paint and call that black because there's actually a hose way there and it's pretty much the same thing as the other side. Now going over to the A in this car. Of course you have more of that brake pipe plumbing here. A little detail here. Part. Walkway. Ladder. The bogey. Or the truck I should say. And a platform. And on the platform you do have various plumbing uh, detail here on the car.